What's good, YouTube? And we've been doing this series going over the ADP, and currently we are at Elvin Kamara. Yo, 104 in normal PPR leagues and super flex leagues. He is the 106 right behind Lamar and Patrick Mahomes. And in Dynasty Super Flex League, he is the 109. And he's behind all the normal suspects. But add Kyler Murray, Michael Thomas, and Deshaun Watson. So, let's go over his ADP. Uh, do I have a problem with him being at the 101 in nine Super Flex Leagues? I do not. I think, you know, um, for redraft, I am on Kamara this year. I think he had a down year last year because of Drew Brees being out. And I think they should get back on the same page this season. And Camaro should have a great season. Let's see. As far as his super flex ADP at the 106, uh, basically the same thing. I understand why Lamar Jackson and Mahomes is over him. Um, I wouldn't, you know, depending on the league, hey, you know, I put Zeke and Camaro pretty much the same, you know. I mean, the tier break, that it's McCaffrey at his own tier. Dennis, <laughs> Dennis uh, Barkley, Dennis Elliott, Kamara, you know, and all of them, you know. Um, but I don't have a problem with that. Definitely understand. Uh, but to me, if you're going to put Lamar and Mahomes over Kamara, then you got to put them over Elliott also. Uh, you know, I don't believe there's no break in between those. And when it comes to Dynasty, he is at the 109. And I will push him back. I would push him back even farther. <laughs> um, at the one one ten, I see Dak Prescott. Give me Prescott over Kamara. Uh, you know, how old is Kamara now? Because Kamara is getting up there. Give me a second to look up his age. Yeah, so Kamara just turned twenty five. Kamara is getting up there. We don't know what's gonna happen with his contract. Um, whether he's gonna sign a you know a, a, a extension for a few years. So that's up in the air. So I would definitely rather. Prescott over Kamara. I think they're going to get a deal done with Cook. Uh, so, I mean, just going off the contract, you know, if they if you get a deal done with Cook, Mixon, they would go over. I, I personally would put Mixon over Kamara because Mixon is a little younger. Mixon is a year younger, and if he get his contract done, then I, I will put Mixon over Kamara. Uh, as of right now, we're going to keep it We gonna keep it the same. You know, he's just a year. Over. I mean, there's a good chance that Kamara and Saints are going to come together and agree on a contract. It's not like he has decided to uh, hold out or anything. But I have heard him mention a contract before, so I know it's on his mind. And it, it may be talks behind closed door. And one day we might see an extension deal just come out the blue um, between both parties. So, uh, but... I'm getting in a different mindset when it comes to dynasty. Just I'm just in a different mindset. I really don't want any old running backs on my team. It's it's right now in my mind it's either a young young running back or a quarterback. It's not any older running backs or any veteran running backs that I'm put, putting on my team in the early rounds. That's where my mind is going when it comes to dynasty. Um, and I'm not gonna say I'm the dynasty guru. I've been in, I'm, I haven't been a dynasty long. I've done well in Dynasty, but I haven't been a Dynasty long whatsoever. So a lot of my things are theories, and as I get more incorporated in Dynasty, I won't know whether my theories work or not until as time go on. So that is what it is. But that's what my my mind at <clears throat> get <clears throat> trade. You know, if I if I got a fourth fourth overall pick, I'd rather trade back, trade back, get more uh, assets. Trade back until you get to the ADP where you can take a younger um, running back. Where you can take a Clyde Edward Hucler or a Jonathan Taylor. Um, you know, take them at their ADP. Um, and, you know, go ahead and take both of them. And, and while you're moving back, you're getting other draft picks. You're getting extra draft picks because even though their value is not high now, as soon as you've seen what happened with Miles Sanders, Miles Sanders didn't really do anything for half the year. And then the second half of the season, he was balling out. And now his value has shot through the roof. His value has shot through the roof. So that can easily happen with Clyde Edwards-Hucler 
or Jonathan Taylor, who has more draft capital than Miles Sanders. That can happen with any other rookie running backs, really. So that's how I feel about that. So Camara, you know, go out, do your thing. I know you got a lot of Camara fans, you know, since he's a catching running back and he's on a high powered offense. So uh, can't be mad at where um, Camara put at. Totally, um, you know, and I, I'm willing to agree uh, in a non super flex. Um, I'm, I'm agreeing in the super flex, but just not in a dynasty super flex. So, anyway, folks, to my next video, I'm out.